Hi, Brian. Hey, Oliver, how are you? Yeah, good, how are you? Not bad. Um, I wanted to start off and ask you, um, and this is, gonna, this is gonna sound like a dig, it's not a dig, it's a genuine question. Are you drawn to period dramas? Like, cause I mean, you're, out, you're in Mr. Malcolm's list, which I saw a couple of weeks back and, you know, you were the haunting of Bly Manor and then, you know, even going further back to something like that Dracula series you're in. I mean, is there something about period dramas that you're drawn to or is it just like what your agent keeps handing you and, or what's yeah. the story? Oh, I should probably fire them, shouldn't I? <laughs> no, no, no. Like you're good in them. Like it's, you know, I mean, like it's... Brian said, I spoke to Brian yesterday. <laughs> no, do you know what? Um, or do you think about it that much? Like, I, I actually, I actually don't. I mean, the weird thing was I shot Malcolm's List and Emily like back to back. I think I had like a, a weekend off in between the two. And after right. the time we'd finished Emily, I was at that enough with the sort of period guard. But it's mainly, it's mainly, um, it's mainly because of the costume. I was going to say, I've heard, I talked to, um, oh, geez, I'm after forgetting his name now. He's a Scottish actor that was in Game of Thrones. He was in Cinderella and he was saying oh, basically, Robin. yes. Yeah. And he was saying that the Jolpers are very hard on the, uh, yeah, you know, All yeah, it. it's none, yeah. none of it's that. Com- I mean, I feel like I'm saying this, but like I don't even have to wear a corset, so I don't know what the fuck I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm complaining about. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> but I do, I do have to say this. That I do think that in, in the period, in the sort of period world, there's something so interesting about society and how, mm. and hopefully, I, I feel like Francis achieves it with with Emily, which is this this whole idea of repression and like stay in your box and you know do what is expected of you and i think there's something so interesting to the world that we live in now to be able to kind of transport yourself into an environment that is so controlled and contrived i think that's the interesting thing about period work like uh that that seems a sort of an overriding factor throughout all of it like that's quite an interesting thing as an actor to go into those environments you know yeah. Do you find, I mean, I know that Frances, you know, her background is as an actor. I mean, you as an actor yourself, and maybe you'll get into directing yourself. I mean, do you find a difference being directed by an ex-actor or is there any kind of appreciable difference? I've de- I mean, there is, there is. And, you know, I say this, you know, with, with, you know, I've, I've worked with some really brilliant directors that haven't, that haven't acted before, but I worked with Francis. And then before that, I worked with Maggie um, Gyllenhaal on, um, on the, this film, her first film as well. And, and, and I have to say like both, and they happened sort of back to back as well. So it's to go from sort of first time directors who was an actor you know his first film to another one it was it was an incredible thing and there's a there's a language that's spoken they they just sort of get it you know because mm. you feel like you feel like such a twat a lot of the time <laughs> like, <laughs> you probably won't say that but you do you feel yeah like, yeah yeah it's it just sort of feels like it starts to get a little bit embarrassing you know it's like i don't know i just think the whole the whole thing is like it, you get self-conscious like you get very self-conscious yeah, it's, like. it's, it, the whole thing is like a bit silly sometimes and and i think to have someone that sort of understands that and understands that you're searching and this is going to make me sound like a real actor but you're really searching for like the truth you'll keep on like searching for the honesty or like the honest moment and yeah to, have someone to understand that watching it so so closely on a on a, on a monitor i i think is um you really you feel so held because they completely understand what it is that you're doing or trying to achieve, you know. So, so I, I, I've, you know, both times I've done it. I, I've actually I've done it a couple of times with, uh, but but recently I've I've loved I loved working with Francis and I love working with Maggie. Yeah, I mean, like I remember the Lost Daughter. Like, I mean, it was it was it was really special. Like, and I think, yeah, I think that's. It, I mean, as a viewer, that's something you definitely notice that there's an awareness of the process from an actor director to the yeah. cast. But Maggie, um, and, yeah, and the same with Francis. Like Maggie and Francis, they would they would just they understood the idea of like play, and there is this thing with actors of like you know they talk about it like if you you know if you're relaxed and you're open so like but they they sort of understand that in a non sort of wanky way and so can can sort of throw things at you that force you into playing and listening and all of that stuff which 
sometimes directors don't necessarily know that's that's the way to get what they need. So I, yeah, I feel very lucky. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I'm getting a wrap up there. Um, thanks so much for rambled. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about. It. Cheers, man. Thanks a lot. All the best. You wait and see.